Hey everybody, welcome to the second part of printing. Uh, in this part I'm going to show you how to do some formatting. So uh, this is just basic formatting. I'm not going to show you all the more complicated stuff. If you want to look at that, I've added some resources so you can do some investigation on your own. Uh, but in this part I'm going to show you how to do uh, a lot of the easy stuff like how to put tabs and new lines and quotes and stuff like that in your text. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is uh, something called escape code or escape sequences, anything that lets you put uh, normal characters into a string or n characters that you normally couldn't put into a string because they're reserved in Python. So for example, uh, let's say you want to put the sentence, he said it is the end of the world as we know it. Okay, so you want to put this and print it out. Now normally, if you try to print it out by putting everything in quotes, you're going to get this error here. And if I try to run this, you're going to see invalid syntax. And invalid syntax just means that, you know, the code that you're writing, you've written it wrong, so go back and try again. Uh, in this case, uh, we did something wrong here is because this uh, quote, this is a double quote here, uh, it stops. And that's because when you're printing something, it's expecting a string. So this is a string right here at the start and end of a quote. And that's what is known as a string is start, end of quote is string. So it's just saying, well, if I put this here and I got rid of all this part, yeah, sure, it'll go ahead and run now. But if I want the rest of this in there, it's not going to work. So there's actually two ways we can fix this. The first way is I can change the outside quote to single quotes. And if you have single quotes, it means the same thing, string, but it won't it won't react with these double quotes. So I can now print this and it will work just fine. He said it is the end of the world as we know it. All right, so that's one way to do it. The other way, and let's just say for example that you really hate single quotes. You like double quotes more. So you always want to use double quotes because maybe that's what your company uses and they want to preserve that format. Uh, they have like a coding standard and everybody has to use double quotes for all print statements. That's okay. Uh, the other way to do it is to use these escapes and an escape is a slash. So this slash here, okay, and backslash here these will escape this character. And by escape this character, it means it's going to escape the string format, essentially, you could say that. Uh, it's getting outside of this, this uh, string format, which means that this right here is not seen as part of the, as, as the part of the code, as in is, this is not seen as part of, how to describe this? The best is not part of this string out here, but it's part of everything that's on the inside. And instead of being printed uh, as part of this string here, it will print it as part of the inside. So meaning, use this as an actual part of the string, not as part of the actual code. So part of the string, not part of the code. Uh, and this quote, you can do that with any of the characters that are normally seen as part of Python. So, for example, if you want to put a single quote in here, you could also do that. Single quotes will also work. And it doesn't matter if it's, oops, put a double quote on the ends. Okay, and there we go. Okay. So, let's say that I wanted to, in here, make it, it is into its. Well, to do that, I would just put a slash there. And now I have, it is the end of the world as we know it. And I could change these back to quotes as well. Okay, so that's uh, that's one way to print out uh, things with characters that you normally wouldn't be able to print out. Okay, now with that being said, there's those two ways of doing stuff. Uh, let's look now at actually doing some other types of formatting. Now, the first thing you might have noticed is if I let's say I put something he said. Um, and then I, maybe she, she responds, let's do this. She responds, you're an idiot. It's 
not the end of the world okay so I do this and she responds now you might notice something that for some reason every time you print it goes to a new line and maybe you kind of took that for granted at first you're like oh yeah well that makes sense there's a new line at the end of every print statement sure but what happens if you want to print something on the same line let's say I wanted to print I have ages here and let's say I have uh, the age 34 print uh, 14 print 19 and I print it like that but I don't want it to be like this I want every time I print something out to be after on the same line would say ages dot 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 how would I do that well this is uh, kind of interesting here there's actually a variable attached with print called end and this end defines what comes after the print statement so when a print statement happens it then looks at the variable end and then it whatever's inside end that's what it puts there so normally end equals a new line which means it's going to go to the next line and I'll show you how to make the new line in just a second but I'll show you how to do something else first so let's say I don't want end to be anything I want it just to print whatever it comes after or maybe I just want a space afterwards if I do this you see ages and now there's a space an extra space here put that like that oops yeah, like that's best. All right, ages, done. Now, I want each one of these to be the same, so I don't want there to be any spaces there. So let's make a space and a space, and then run this. And now I've got all three of my numbers, and they all come after ages. So the interesting thing is you can actually make this whatever you want. You could put a smiley face here. And we now have smiley faces after every single, uh, every single thing at the end of each of these lines. Okay. So I just said a, a new line. Uh, now normally this is instead if I take this back out, it'll default back to new line, and it then kicks this all these to a new line. But all of these will still be on the same line. All right. But what's what happens if I want to put in a new line? What's, what if I want to force a print statement to print new line? So maybe I want uh, names. I want to be able to write names. And then I want to be able to write Tim. Let's do Chen and Maria. Okay. Well, let's just put them like this. Now, normally they're going to print all on the same line. But let's say I actually do want them to be names. And then I want one line, two line, three line. Well, we can once again come back to our escape here, and I can use another code instead of instead of a quote or something. I can put a slash n, and I can put it right before each of these words. And if I do that, all the things are going to print on a new line. So n stands for new line. And anytime you want a new line in a string, you can just put slash n. You can also put slash r because slash r means return or enter on your keyboard. It's a return or it's an enter. Okay, So in this case, r and n mean really the same thing, new line and return. Okay. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to make things nice and neatly formatted. So let's say I have name, age, and sex. Okay. Now, I'm going to then print some names here. I'm going to have Tim again, and Tim will be 15, and he'll be male. And I want uh, Chen, and he's going to, he'll be 18, and he'll be male. And then I'll have Maria, and she'll be uh, 17 and female. Okay, now, if I print these out, it's going to be, well, let me get rid of this stuff up here. If I print these out, you're going to see name, age, sex, and then nothing really lines up nice and neat. Well, I can actually use uh, another escape character called tab. And so tab is the same as your tab on your keyboard. And if I put it in front of each one of these, 
it's gonna space things out for me. I think I did something. Oh, it looks like I might need to double tab here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it looks like these maybe move a little bit farther than a single tab. So I wanna double tab that out a little bit. So you notice I can have two tabs here, one tab here. The reason I have two tabs here is because this name is long enough that it actually takes up one tab. So when I do this tab here, it moves this out a tab, but it's actually, these names are here are gonna be quite long enough to do that. So I guess, yeah, these, these characters appear a little bit longer. Uh, so in this case, uh, we're using the tabs to make sure things are nice and lined up and formatted neatly. And you don't have to put them before a number or anything special. I mean, you can do stuff like this if you want. Uh, tab, 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 new line, return, tab, Fred, I don't know, put Fred out here. And if I ran this, you're going to have something stuck in the middle over there. So these are just some basic ways of formatting. If you want to put quotes in something, you can do it with that. If you want to tab or new line or return, you can use those. And there are other ways of formatting print statements, and I'll leave some resources in the uh, resource section under the video for that. But for now, these are all you're really gonna need, just the basics, just to get you going. Uh, and take, take your time, practice, do a little bit with this stuff so you understand how it works. All right, um, next video, we're gonna do input. And then after that, we're gonna get doing if statements and things like that. Uh, I know things are moving a little slowly, and that's just mostly because I, I want I want you to understand exactly what you're doing. Okay, all right. I uh, will see you in the next video for input.